Yes, Guy, and welcome back to History with Me. This week, we're going to be talking about the Titanic. Basically, the Titanic sailed across the ocean and sank. That's about all. No, you have to finish it. <gasps> You're kidding me. I want to finish this story. Okay, you're always making me tell the story from the beginning. Here we go. On the day of September 17th, 1908, the naval architect Thomas Andrews, which worked for Holland and Wolf Industries, completed his drawing design of the RMS Titanic. Now, the ship would cost $7.5 million to build, and it would take longer than expected to even start construction. On the day of March 31st, 1909, construction began on the RMS Titanic. It was supposed to be said as the third of all the ships on the White Star Line Company for ships. Then, her maiden voyage was due for April 10th, 1912, and she was completed on April 2nd, 1912, just in time. Her voyage was meant to be from Southampton, UK, to New York City. Did it work? Well, the Titanic began its voyage on the day it set, April 10th, 1912, from Southampton, UK, to New York City. As it sailed on, it went good at first, as everybody thought of it as the unsinkable ship and as well as it went on. This is when, in 1997, the director, James Cameron, decided to create this scene in the movie Titanic. I'm flying, Jack! No, you're not. You're standing on a boat. <laughs> the historical area of this scene is real, but the scene was not real. Let's get back to the info. As the voyage continued, like any day, the Titanic sailed on April 15, 1912. It seemed to be a normal day until 11.40 p.m. The Titanic saw an iceberg in its path. That's when these famous lines were heard. Iceberg, straight ahead! The Titanic's crew tried to steer the boat, but not in time. The side of the boat got slammed into by this iceberg. As the Titanic saw its iceberg fate coming ahead, nobody worried because they thought of it as an unsinkable ship. Oh! What could go wrong? As water started to flood the engine room, the Titanic crew acted fastly and closed the watertight doors down in the engine room. Oh. Ah, the door's closing! I want to get through! No, no, no! They used these watertight doors on the Titanic, so when water got into the engine room, they could close the doors, and not even another drop of water could get into the next room. Did it work? No, but it was a good invention. The Titanic saw the taking water as the watertight doors did not work. Water keep going through because the boat had been scratched all the way down the side by this iceberg. As the water took in, the crew got prepared to give everyone a life jacket and prepare to load into the lifeboats. There, as I forgot before, 2,000, 200, and 24 passengers on board, but there was only enough lifeboats for about half of the passengers. The crew had to act quickly and say to take women and children first, but most people weren't even out of their cabins by right now. Some boats got down quickly, but others stayed in their rooms, especially third class. They knew there was no hope in getting to the top deck in time for a lifeboat, and they were men anyway, so they weren't going to get on. And most thought the boat would never sink, so they stayed in those rooms. It's hopeless getting to the top. I'm just going to stay down here. 
Oh, man. As the Titanic kept sinking from the bottom to the top, more rage started to come on aboard. First class men were bribing the crew to get them onto a lifeboat. Crisis was happening as the water that was freezing cold came up into the top deck. There was nine decks on the Titanic, so they had time, but not long. Some people decided to go down with the boat, just like the captain, Edward Smith. He decided to go down with the boat. He stood in his captain's cabin and watched the water flood in. As same as Thomas Andrews, he died and went down with the ship too because he had built the ship with his own. As the Titanic sank, it was a life and death situation for men. As the crew ordered only women and children to get on the lifeboats, there was 20 lifeboats that fit 1,338 passengers out of the 2,146 passengers. Men went ridiculous. Oh, I got the lifeboat. Lifeboats quickly ran out and people were falling into the freezing cold water as the water boarded the top deck. Nobody knew what to do. They all went to the top of the boat as it slid into the water. They all hung on for their lives, but nothing bad had come yet. The boat lost power one hour after the boat had crashed into the iceberg. As it went out of power, the boat cracked in half. It was not a good one. People were desperate. As the Titanic started to sink into the ocean after its power going out and cracking in half, the boat turned up like this. That's what I'm on right now. People started slipping away into the freezing cold ocean and getting hypothermia as the last people held on for the desperate lives. No, no, no! I... The Titanic sank down into the water two hours and 40 minutes later after they had hit the iceberg. It was a tragedy. Many people lay in the water, about to get hypothermia, waiting for lifeboats to come back for them. But by the time lifeboats came back for people, most had got hypothermia. Only so many people survived. About 740 people survived the Titanic. It was a tragedy, a big tragedy. Since then, boats, especially on the White Star Line, have put more lifeboats on their ships. So if they ever got into the tragedy of sinking, all the people could get on a lifeboat. Oh, you're still here. Well, guys, thank you for coming with me today on this wonderful adventure to see the history of the Titanic. Remember, my name is this guy, and you'll learn about me later. Next week, we'll be studying about the Civil War. See you next week.